Hello, hello, everybody. This is Grimias bringing you Do You Copy? Uh, this is an indie horror game that made its mark on Asylum Jam. It was actually one of the best Asylum Jam games uh, made in this one. And um, I watched some of it and it felt a little incomplete, but now they released a full version of it. I've been actually waiting for that. So now I wanted to sink my teeth into this thing. So without further ado, let's get started on Do You Copy? What we, what we are supposed to do is basically guide this lost hiker uh, to our tower, running away from some sort of monster. Idea sounds pretty cool. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started on Do You Copy? Uh, I've been waiting for the full version for a while. I don't think too many things have changed. I think they just added a more complete ending. But other than that, not much is different. Oh, and there's another tower over there. It's all lit. That's nice. Alright, let's go into our cabin. Yeah, what happened? Oops. I don't know. Oh, there's some stuff here. Cool. Fourth hiker missing since June. Local officials weigh in. To whom it may concern, stop putting cardboard cutouts of movie monsters in the woods. Who does that? Sasquatch sighting, hoax or missing link? Tower 4, this is Tower 2. Tower on the radio check, over. Hey Tower 2, what's up man? Hey there buddy, I'm in Tower 4, do you copy? Good yeah. to hear Tower 4, kicking off for the night, park's all yours, over. What the hell man? Don't leave me alone. That's just rude. What happens when there's an emergency and, like, they're all the way over there? How do I reach them? Oh, uh, Tower 2, you suck. Alright, well, I'm gonna go back to reading my bulletin board. Local man arrested. Suspected connection to missing persons at State Park. And... JC Nabom missing. Wow. Hello? Hey. Hello? Yeah, what? Yeah, I'm here. Uh... I don't have to do anything, but yes, I will help you just out of the goodness of my heart. I, I don't know. Something started chasing me, so I started running. You have to help me. I'm going to die out here. Okay. Sure, I'll do that. Turn on the flow lights. I think it was this switch right here. And let's turn that on. Turn on lights. What does that say? Attention. Switch is broken. Oh, okay. It needs to be held in place. Alright. That's good to know. Alright, well, I'm gonna go back to my bulletin board. The gentleman. So, this is the monster? I don't know what happened back there. I, I was just I was camping. You know, the solo hike. Just a day or two to myself. I... This is such a mistake. Got fresh air. Go run. Yeah. Whatever I do, what I do is try to save your life, asshole. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, that sounded more like an insult. Uh, what does this say? Please don't attempt to repair and damage park structures. Okay, what did it say? Until further notice, the Graceman Lake Pass is off limits to all park visitors due to multiple reports of bears in the vicinity. Please use the alternate path marked on your map. Our chickens are mandatory, should it be responded to promptly. Bro, well, I think just take the left path. Alright, left. Got it. Because I think I just saw it. Yeah, hang on, go away. I think he was talking about this one. Yeah. Yeah, the, the smaller path is the left one. Then he's gonna be right here, which is the path bear, so he should take the other path and come over here to our tower. I don't think it'll turn out that way, though. What is that mark? That looks creepy. Uh, what do we have here? Ooh, hello. Sasquatch sightings. What else does that say? Missing, wow. Run. What? Now. Uh, run where? Oh, shit. Do you see those eyes? Look at those eyes. I think they're eyes. Wow. 
Look at the eyes. They're watching me. Or was he talking to the hiker? I don't know. Boo. What's going on with the light? So the developers of this game actually want to make this a full game. But they don't really know how yet. What I think could work for this game is that, uh... <laughs> I see you. I think what could work is like each night over this course of seven nights. Whoa. What was that? Oh look, there's a flashlight. Yeah, I did. Just keep on the path, dude. No, no, no. Did you hear that? Yes! Did you see that? I saw a bunch of eyes. Maybe you should keep running. Like I said, over the course of like seven nights you could each night you could try to like help out these hikers. Maybe getting them killed on purpose or on accident. <laughs> Or helping them out. What do you see? Any landmarks? How the hell did you get there? Wow. Okay, well, um, head towards the lake. You went way off course. Look, man, just buy me a drink and we'll call it even. You don't have to say my life or anything. As I was saying, like, over the course of like seven what? Whoa, hi. Look at you. Aren't you big? Over the course of like seven nights or something. Jesus, stop interrupting me. I'm trying to share my thoughts over here, man. <laughs> Like, you could be helping these hikers and whatnot, and over the course of mornings when you're supposed to be off, you could, like, investigate what's going on in these woods and try to find, uh, you know, whatever this thing is, lair or something. Like, Firewatch. You could be exploring this entire forest like Firewatch during the course of days and trying to figure out what the mystery is behind that thing. Yeah, I guess it's not so bad. Oh. How about you, Ren? It's not funny. Alright, I think he's done for a little while. But yeah, I think that would be cool. Like, at night you're dealing with this thing, you're in your cabin trying to help out the hikers, and at day, when you're supposed to be off, your, your character is curious, so he's investigating, you know, the... A monster or whatever this thing is, demon, whatever you want to call it, or alien. It could be an alien. And you're trying to find it. It's it's probably like located in a mine. Probably. That's where most things that are killers usually hide in. Alright, uh looks like I'm getting onto uh Gracewind Lake Pass. Oh, take the other one. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah. What is it? Yeah, bears. Because there are bears over there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, cause things considered, maybe bears aren't really the, you know, biggest worry, but you know what? Uh, yeah. That's gonna be kind of bad. Hmm. Is he gonna be okay? Where's his flashlight? Dude, you should be like right over here. I don't see him. Did he take the wrong path? That idiot. Maybe a bear got him. <laughs> mm. Dude, where'd you go? What? I don't know where I'm going. He chased me off the trail. I think it knows where I'm trying to go. Please, I can get there before it catches me. I just need to know where I'm going. Here, dude. I gave you a light. Did you see it? Did you see my light? Maybe you should answer? Hey, dude. You there? Hello? Hello? Yeah. 
Yeah, your voice sounds extremely calm right now. Are you there? Ben, you can't do this to me. Mm, I, I don't. Right behind me. I don't trust you anymore. Your voice just sounded really cool there. Whoa. Where did that come from? What is he going, Super Saiyan or something? Jeez, Hello. so much anger at this guy. Hello? Yeah, hi. Is anyone there? Yeah, I'm here. You're going to die out here. Oh. <laughs> I think he was pissed. <laughs> I think he died a little bit a little longer ago. Was it over? Missing. Hiker lost in Grayson Park. Well, at least we survived, I think. Treasure has once struck again in Grayson Park for as another visitor goes missing. The Grayson Park services. The park ranger on duty that night, however, claims there's more to the story. In an exclusive interview, they claimed there was some kind of monster imitating the lost man's voice over the radio. And while that may sound unbelievable to some of you out there, we have we at the, here at the Midnight Star are no strangers to bizarre stories coming from Grayson Park. So yeah, that was... That was it for the Asylum Jam game. I think it was really cool. Uh, if the developers want to make this a full game, I, I would back a game, like I said. like I would seriously back a game if they put it on Kickstarter, where at night you do this, and then in the morning you go around the woods and, you know, find this thing's lair or try to solve the mystery or something. I think that would be great. And it doesn't need to have great graphics or anything. I, I would just, you know, make do with Firewatch graphics, so that would be fine. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, anyways, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.